everyone, this is Susie Q, Susie Q's Bunting Babes, and welcome to my nursery room window. Today I have little Shannon Rose with me. Shannon Rose is the Adeline sculpt by Elena Peterson, and I am going to be changing um, Shannon into um, the, her theme Thursday outfit today, which is buttons and bows. And so I'm going to put her down for just a moment so that I can show you what she's going to be changed into today. And I found this little dress. Um, it's brand new. Uh, I haven't worn it, uh, or I haven't, <laughs> I haven't worn it for sure, and I haven't put it on any of my babies yet. Um, it's from Baby Prem, and um, it is a preemie size because Shannon is a, a tiny little girl. Uh, anyway, here's the bow, and then here's the buttons. And I know this isn't very creative, but it's the best I could do with finding buttons and bows for my babies today. Um, so that's the outfit. It also comes with a little um, pair of bloomers. And then um, underneath it, you, well, first of all, you'll notice that it has polka dots right here. And today is kind of polka dot day for, um, for me and Shannon. Um, I'm wearing a polka dot blouse, and Shannon is going to be wearing a polka dot onesie underneath. And so I just thought that was really cool. <laughs> and um, anyway, here's the shoes that she's going to be wearing, and they have bows, little satin bows, and then um, uh, the little preemie socks. And uh, these are perfect little tiny preemie socks just right for her tiny little feet, and they have little ruffles little nylon ruffles along the edge. And so um, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start out with um, taking this little bunny from her. That's her cuddle bunny. Um, and this is um, the, very, the very first Easter bunny that my husband ever gave me. And those of you that watch my channel have heard this story before, so I won't go into it. But um, she's really a tiny little bunny, and um, a couple of my little uh, baby tiny dolls really love to cuddle up with this little thing. And so I'm going to set her aside for now. And um, I I can't have my um, my window curtains open today because the sun is really, really bright. And um, <clears throat> so it, it puts a, a big glare on my baby. So we can't have that. <laughs> so I'm going to keep the curtains closed today. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. And we'll take her little shoes off. And these are some um, preemie shoes that I had gotten for the baby girls. I have two pair. There's this color of pair. And then there's a pink. Uh, there's a white pair that has pink um, oh, uh, designs and things on it. So, um, But these are the white ones. So anyway, I have to tell you uh, about my day yesterday. Oh my gosh, I could not believe what happened. Um, uh, yesterday after I did my video, um, and uh, I, you know, I went in and I was uploading it um, onto my YouTube channel. And lo and behold, I came back in here because um, what I usually do while it's uploading, I'll do emails or I'll, I'll come back in um in the nursery and straighten things up well i came back in and when i first walked into the nursery not the nursery my bedroom um the nursery is attached to the bedroom there when I, all over the carpet it, it was just an unbelievable swarm of these huge ants they looked like ants and they had wings there were ants with wings and so, um, so at that point, I didn't know if it was termites or ants. I didn't know what was going on, but I, it put me in a panic. So, um, so I thought, gosh, you know, what am I going to do? I can't just start spraying poison everywhere. So I thought the best way that I could uh, take care of the situation was to get the vacuum and just start vacuuming the carpet. I mean, they were, I'm, when I say swarms, I mean, I could barely see the carpet. That's, I, I'm not exaggerating at all. So I got the vacuum out. And um, so I vacuumed the bedroom. 
And I thought, where in the world are these things coming from? And um, so I vacuumed the best bedroom, and then I came into the nursery, and I was just devastated. They were all over the nursery, and uh, all, all over the nursery floor. So I quick, and uh, I started vacuuming as fast as I could, the carpet, and then I started moving everything out of the nursery, um, which is a big task because I have a lot of things in here. Moved everything into the bedroom where I, I had just vacuumed, and... Um, then vacuum the nursery and you know they kept coming and coming and you know i would vacuum i'd go back out in the bedroom and i would see more in there then i'd take the vacuum in there and just, it was just i mean i have never been so oh gosh uh devastated or shocked i guess um anyway i came back in the nursery and it and um we had in inside of uh, the nursery room is our water closet and the water closet is what holds the hot water heater and it also holds our uh, reverse osmosis um, uh, filter water tank so um, it, they seem to be coming out from under the door so I opened the door and my gosh that's where they were coming from um, they they were coming from uh, underneath the water the hot water heater um, the hot water heater is, sits in a, a big plastic tub, you know, in case that there's a, a leak, you know, that's like the safety thing to, um, to catch the leak if it comes out. But anyway, um, they were, since they were coming out from underneath, I ran into the kitchen, um, got under the cupboard, and I, I found the ant spray. And I just sprayed and sprayed and sprayed. I sprayed the plastic tub. I sprayed um, like as far as I could get underneath the water heater. It was it was just I have never been in such a mess. And meanwhile, my nursery room was all torn apart, and um, I couldn't hardly move because I had things here, there, and everywhere. And it was just I don't know if any of you have ever had experiences like this before, but um, I never have. Now, granted. We live out in the country. We live, um, you know, our little house here is, it's on top of a hill, but it's actually was built on a, you know, on a hilltop where there was a field. And of course, um, you know, Mother Nature was here first. And I'm sure that that's where, um, you know, all the, um, you know, the, the little nests and things come from, you know, on the ground there. So anyway, um, I ended up, um, and I, another thing I've noticed about me, I say um a lot, and I don't know why, I guess when I hesitate, I say um, so uh, I'm gonna, maybe I can say uh, <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, it was just really, it, it took me hours to vacuum, to clean up. Uh, it was not a fun day at all, not at all. I was exhausted from moving all the furniture, um, you know, including this this table, um, all of my plastic storage containers that has all the clothes in them. Uh, it just, I, I was just, oh my gosh. And then, after I got done, uh, I also have a, a small vacuum, like I have an upright vacuum that I did the majority of the vacuuming in. And then I have um, like a small, um, oh, it's a tub type vacuum. So I had to take the, I thought it'd be a good idea actually to take the, um, the vacuum cleaner bags out of the vacuum and, and take them out to the trash because I don't know if, you know, if, if bugs can live in that environment or not, but I didn't want to take a chance of them escaping somehow. So I had to change those vacuum cleaner bags, and um, wow, it was just a mess. It was just a mess. So, um, you know, living out in the country does have its, uh, you know, positives. I mean, it's mostly positive, but then also it does have its negatives. <clears throat> and uh, once in a while, you know, um, I come upon the negatives and have to deal with it and have to deal with it at the spur of the moment like that. I mean, I, I was totally expecting just to leisurely walk into the nursery, 
you know, put the clothes away, da da da. And instead, I ended up spending, I would say, a good three hours vacuuming and cleaning and um, rearranging furniture and all that stuff. So I wouldn't wish that on anyone. And then, come to find out, um, I went last night, I went into my, um, my bathroom. And I happened to look over in the shower, and this scared the heck out of me. It there was this huge spider, and I mean huge. Let me let me put um, Shannon Rose down for just a minute. The spider was probably this big around, with the legs included. The body was. Let me see if I can do this. Probably, you know, that big. It was huge, and um, it. I you know, I don't like spiders that are that big. So I knew that I had to get it out of my shower. <laughs> so I took like two, three, no, it was three big pieces of Kleenex and I, you know, put them together and it just pounced on the spider with it. Oh my gosh, it was so creepy. I could feel it moving. And um, then I, you know, put it in the toilet and flushed it down. And it, I was just, after yesterday, I was just so creeped out. <laughs> I just, oh my gosh. Um, anyway. You know, I used to complain about ladybugs, and I still will complain about ladybugs, but I think um, I won't complain as much because uh, spiders and uh, the swarms of ants all over the carpet really take the cake. And um, I I just hope, I kept looking in my, uh, my carpet today to see if they came back, and they haven't so far, knock on wood. So anyway... Okay, everyone, so I have little Shannon Rose all dressed and ready. Um, I hope I didn't take too much attention away from this cutie. I just love her and her and her beautiful, beautiful green eyes and her wonderful hair. But um, I hope you like her outfit today. And she's got her little bow and she's got her little buttons and she's all ready to go. So anyway... Um, Thanks for stopping by and listening to my story. Uh, I hope you never have problems like that. And uh, anyways, thanks for uh, visiting and um, hope to see you again soon. And until we meet again, bye-bye.